Okay, are you in focus? Let's see if we're both here. We're both in focus? <laughs> I think so. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have a very special guest here with me today. This is my mum. Hi everyone. <laughs> So I wore that today because my mum is here and it is her birthday. It was her birthday yesterday. You don't have to say how old you are. Good, good. <laughs> let's just I say am. late, late 60s, 60s and I am in my early 30s. Mm -hmm. So I thought let's film a little video together and we can talk about our different skincare at our different ages. So like 30 something versus 60 something. You said to me earlier on that you exfoliated every single day without fail. Mm. For me personally, I also really like to exfoliate my skin and I like an ex a physical exfoliant just because I get a lot of dry skin. Mm. You've got one there as well. So mine is like this one here, the Garnier. Mm. But what have you got there? What I wouldn't you... use it. Well, look, you know, the, the first thing that I like to say is that through my life, I've, um, you know, haven't had a great deal of money either and I've had to choose the products that I feel are going to do my skin good. Yes. But also are within my budget. I love budget beauties. You know, I mean, I've used this on, on and off for a long time. Mm -hmm. The St. Ives uh, green tea. Yeah, I feel like I've used this for quite a number of years and you keep on going back to mm. this one as mm. well. Well, it's it's gentle, but it does the job. What about just general face wash? Do you have just like, a normal face wash that you enjoy? No, I've just always concentrated on something that will take the makeup off yep. at the end of the day. Yeah, you know? I like that too. And any inexpensive, again, the L'Oreal, you know, L'Oreal. Mum's a fan of L'Oreal. Inexpensive, <laughs> inexpensive again. So the anti-fatigue cleansing okay. milk. Do you go after this one because it decrinkles? <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> it says decrinkles and refreshes. Absolutely. I don't otherwise wash wash my face. I just use that. Okay. And then I just rinse it off with a with a warm face cloth. I'm not really kind of one of those super fussy types that use lots of different cleansers for different reasons. I just want the one basic cleanser mm -hmm. that does everything. So that's why I go for the QV. Me too. Yeah. Okay, now talk about this oil because and I do wish that you had it with you. Mm. You've mentioned it a number of times mm, it's very, over the years. Mm. Why do you like to use an oil for your skin? I think uh, skins really like oils. You know, rosehip oil is the best. A lot of women, yes. Yeah, yeah so that's, days. yeah, I, I like rosehip oil as mm. well. I don't put any oils on my face during no, the day. No, no, no. You don't? Well, you wouldn't do this, mm -hmm. but when I put a foundation, I, I'll put a tiny bit of of oil in the foundation ah. because I like that that uh, healthy glossy. Okay, look. that's See? a good tip for me. I don't really like the glossy look because I feel I've lived so much of my life with a natural gloss anyway, <laughs> just being very oily skin. <laughs> so I do my utmost to try and avoid the mm. oily skin mm. glossy look. The women's sacred oil. Is women's sacred oil. Yeah, I'll try and very well known. And I prefer using mm. the Trilogy certified organic rosehip oil. I hear that oils can sometimes go off. Yes. Mm. So you have to be careful of mm. them and use them quickly, not mm. just let them sit out on your bench top for days and weeks and months, yeah. years. Let's talk about moisturizers a little bit. For me, with an aged skin, mm. um, look, I just, again, mostly use the L'Oreal range. Why do you prefer L'Oreal? What is it about L'Oreal? It's fairly inexpensive, although you're still okay. going to be paying $30 for, for, a, for a thing. Like for that. a thing. Their range is is a lot for the mature skin. So this is a okay. cell, cell renewal day cream. There we go. <laughs> you might not even be able to see it properly because it's so shiny. Have you noticed a difference? I do notice that their products keep my skin nourished, What's another word? <laughs> Nourished and, 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 um. Do you feel like it sort of plumps the skin or that it, it fills in fine lines yes, or that it just. Yes, Mo most of their, their range does all of that for okay. the, the mature skin. For me, I use a moisturizer, different moisturizer for the day and a different one for the night. Well, I just you usually um, use some oil at night. I, I just, oh, okay. you know, I'll, I'll just cleanse and then I'll uh, usually just That's... use the women's sacred oil. Okay. 
during the day because especially if I'm wearing makeup I like to go for a gel moisturizer just because I think it just helps my makeup to sit better. So I was using the Curel from Japan and I was trying to find a dupe for that and I did find it. It is the Meteo Rose Water Moisture Boost Day Cream Gel. So if you're in Aussie, you can find this. If you're in Japan, you can find this one. In the evening, I do like a heavy moisturizer mm. because no one's gonna see me and I'm not gonna put my face on. And I do also like using an oil at night. So this is like my nighttime combo, a calendula cream and my rosehip oil. Mm. That's, it'd be pretty good for a mature skin too. Yeah, mm. just because I, I do feel like now that I am in my early to mid thirties, I need to think about, you know, the fine lines and just try and stop that from happening as much as I can. <laughs> there is only so much that you can do and there's only so much that it's a true. product can do, to be honest. Like I, it's true. I don't believe in products that say that they're number one and mm. they're gonna solve all of your problems because it's just, it's just a bunch of crap to me. Being, you know, in your 60s mm. with your skincare, is there anything else that you've sort of learned and you feel is really good for your skin at this age? Certainly uh, to maintain a good, healthy diet. Yeah. And, um, you know, try not to drink alcohol. Or yeah. You, you know, really. Uh, Which I know is sometimes difficult. difficult I, I feel like a lot of a lot of women especially mm. actually like to go home and have a glass of wine at the end of the day mm. well but, you know yeah. and you know sleep 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 is great <laughs> it's good for the skin yeah and i i've never i've never been a you know highly um active uh woman but i've i've actually always done a bit of yoga through, okay. through my life until i you know broke my ankle but i still do a bit i still but you do, do more bit. than me because i feel like i've got the the sloth lifestyle from from you <laughs> no not necessarily <laughs> no but i feel like i i don't really move enough yeah. and i should i really should it's something that i definitely want to work on in the future and i keep telling myself i'm going to work on that and i don't maybe you know do a bit of stretching and yeah you do walk yeah every so often yeah. i go for a walk to the mm. fridge or back <laughs> Being in my 30s, I mean, I do have to treat my skin a little bit better these days and not kind of think, oh, I'm not going to wash my face tonight because I can't be bothered. Mm. Like, I, I feel like I have to really try and make an effort and that's mm. kind of where I'm at right now. That's important. That's pretty well how I've been, you, you know. Something has washed off onto you, Yeah. you know. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Jess, for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, and thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you learned a little bit. And if you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe and hit the like button and all that sort of stuff that people do. We're going to go shopping now. <laughs> we are. <laughs> all right. So I'll talk to you guys all later on. Have a fantastic rest of the day. I'll talk to you later. Mwah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's good. Nicely done. <laughs>